evening all. It's uh, a comfort. Com well, I'll try again. A comfortable Thursday evening. I uh, didn't go into town like I said I would because I went over to Mum's instead, and she picked me up rather early. Only because she was already out and about because she dropped my brother off at college. Um, so I've spent pretty much all day at Mum's. Twelve hours, actually, almost. She picked me up at just after 9am, and she dropped me off uh, about 8.30, 8.45, something like that. So not far off from 12 hours. Um, didn't really come home with much today, to be honest. An old stereo that doesn't work. So I've got something for us to take apart, which I'll use my VHS camera for, because it's better video quality. Um, it turns on, it lights up, but there's no audio, so the amplifier on it is probably gone, and I don't deem that worth salvaging, because it doesn't have a record deck, so it's no good to me. Um, and I'd like to have a look inside it anyway. I may not pull it completely to bits, but... The um, twin tape deck, both of them are just caked in dust. And just clumps of dirt in there, so I don't think it's really worth salvaging, to be honest. It's not a brand I would consider worth it either. It's only a, a uh, Hitachi. If that was something like a Technics, I probably would have. Or JVC or something like that, but not a Hitachi. So, uh... I think that'd be an interesting video to have a look inside that and see what's making it tick. Or well, in this case, not making it tick. I've <laughs> um, got that from Biggles. So he got it from down the recycle centre to use in his workshop as a radio, but uh, it don't work. <laughs> so he picked up another one. But I, uh, that is the sort of stereo system I'm in the market for. Um, I am keeping my eyes open. I don't mind buying one, um, as long as I think it's a fair price. Uh, I do want something like that. It doesn't have to have a CD deck on it, because it will probably just go and sit in the bedroom. But something like that. You can um, plug in a separate CD deck for this. It's got the CD connector. Got the CD connectors there and the phono connectors there. AM antenna, FM, the UKW, I'm not sure what that stands for. Speakers, 3D and BTL, whatever that is. Super woofer. <coughs> but yeah, that is the sort of style I'm looking for. And I know that even the charity shops in town that have had them in do ask a nice, a fair price, but a nice price for them. And uh, every time they've had one, I've never had the cash to get it. And of course, they don't hang around very long in these types of stereos, so... Eh. One day I will get one. One day I'll get lucky and get one. But, uh, yeah, that's the sort of system I want. I don't know what it is. It's just something about the style of these old black stereos that I like. I really don't know what it is. It's got all the graphic equalizer on the front. 3D level. 3D button on the front here as well, as well as one on the back. Power, phones, which means headphones. Big old volume knob. Uh, da -da -da -da. FM mode there in the band select, AM, FM, and it looks like you can pre-program radio stations. That is pretty good, I like that one, what's this one? Yeah, memory, so you can. Tuning, digital, down and up. Got a remote sensor there, so it did, you would, ah, for God's sake, try again. So it would have come with a remote control. What else we got? What's your usual t um, twin tape deck? With a counter! Ooh. But, uh, yeah, that looks rather grimy in there, doesn't it? But 
Both of them do open fine. I don't know if they actually play. There's a button broken off there, the record level. Take two. Normal and whatever that is, I don't know. Dub speed. <laughs> and a level indicator. So uh, yeah, something, not exactly like this, but you know, that sort of period is what I'm looking for. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because it reminds me of when I was growing up or what it is, but I just like them. If I was going to collect stereo systems, it would be from this period. Or the 70s, I do like the 70s as well. <clears throat> I might have a look on Gumtree and eBay, see what I can find on there. Uh, see if there's anything local that I could pick up cheap. There's no doubt that'll be collection only for something like that, but as so long as it works, I don't mind if the you know the tape heads or something need a clean. I don't think I've got a head cleaner anyway, but a bit of uh rubbing alcohol on the end of a cotton bud should do it. But that's that's why I want to put the stereo when I get it in there. So uh I'd probably saw and get four speakers up here. I'll probably lay them on their side. Uh, uh, but, uh we're going to a car boot Saturday, weather permitting, and uh, I'm gonna look for a pair of speakers that would suit this. You know with that wood effect, but uh, I have got a cable here with the correct plug on it, but I would have to wire it onto those speakers. And I've only got the one, so I can only wire it to one speaker. I don't really want to do that, because they don't suit the record player. They're a lot newer. Cheap and low powered, but a lot newer. Um, so I don't really want to go down that avenue, but I will have a look in Black Records, see what he's got. I'll go in tomorrow. I'll do all my uh, walk or um, walk, yeah, walk around town tomorrow. As I didn't get to do it today, I could have. I could have said, you know, no, I want to stay home and get some shit done. But never mind. And the other thing I've got to do is make modifications to this homemade lamp here. The cable that's on the outside here is going to be pushed down the inside. And uh, because it's not long enough, because there's the plug right down the bottom there, I'm going to extend it using this straight through connector. Only because it's the safest option, because um, it's got all the cord grip there and there. so And it will fit down inside that, so I can extend onto it and that. Um, switch. I'll fix it to the top of the post like I have there with a bit of tape either side on the cable, but I'll put it up at the top where the cable goes in. So I'll t I'd, um, take the switch off, turn it round so this cable, this one, is going up and into the top. Um, and that will just give me this lot here for a bit of slack if I need it for adjustments and whatnot. Obviously I'll connect this on first and the cable for the extension. Shove it all down there and uh, shove the extension out of there and put a plug on it and the job's done. Um, so as you can see, the, because it's in three sections, that lamp, it keeps twisting and coming loose and then I end up with the cable wrapped around the um, pole itself, which I don't want. But with the cable on the inside, that won't matter. And it would look a lot tidier, so that's what I'm going to do. So I've rescued that out of the um, box of electrical bits and bobs out of the workshop at Mum's. I won't get used for anything else, so I think I might actually have something like that here, I don't know. I'm seeing things because I thought all that area lit up for a second. So I'm either seeing things or there's a ghost in here, I'm not sure which.
Right. Um, yeah, it's been a comfortable sort of 24 degrees C today. That's the sort of temperatures I can handle. Um, yeah, of course, you know, I've got sweating and whatnot, but this flat has always been warm for some reason, and I really need to do the catch tray because that's beginning to stink. I've got no cat litter, so I'm going to have to get that tomorrow. That ain't going to go on Claudia. I'm going to have to take my trailer. I wonder if I could attach my trailer to Claudia. That would make life a lot easier going around. I might do that, actually. That's going to make life a lot easier. If I can't find speakers in Black Records, and I'm going to wait for the car boot sale Saturday. Fingers crossed that the weather holds. I don't care if it's cloudy. I just don't want it to piss it down with rain. <clears throat> um, you never know what you're going to find at a car boot. I have seen speakers and things there being sold, so we'll see. I even see stereos and whatnot being sold, so I'll have a look in Black Records just to see what he's got, if anything. But uh, as I said, I'll have a look at the car boot as well. Because that one we go to is probably one of the largest ones in this area. Closest to me, anyway. The actual, the largest one in Norfolk is at a place called Arming Hall, just the other side of Norwich City. And that's a fucking huge one. We've been there a couple of times, but again, you know, I'd go to more if I had my own transport. You know, if I had my own bloody car. <sighs> but I don't know if I've got it in me to learn to drive, to be honest. I think that's one reason I've actually put it off all these years. Because uh, I could, you know, I could have easily gone and got the provisional years ago, and even though I'm on welfare, you know, I could have easily done it and whatnot. But I just don't think I've got it in me to do it. Too scared, if I'm honest. <laughs> Love cars, you know. Love talking about them. Got my favourites. Can drive them in first gear <laughs> if it's manual. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I haven't, you know, driven them enough to build up my confidence or regularly enough. You know, I've done it a few times where Mum's living at the moment because of the caravan site. I can do it on there because it's private land. <laughs> so I have driven the odd car around there, but I think it is a bit of a confidence issue and a too much nerves. But, uh, I don't know. I've got random crap piled up everywhere. I did um, bring some random bits of wood home as well so I can make those supports I want to make on my table through there to hopefully reduce the amount of rocks from side to side. I hope. Maybe I'll find a cheap stereo system that I want at the car boot. Who knows? Look at that poser. Oh, he's got his leg up in the air. <laughs> um, well, I would say he's licking his balls, but he's had the snip, so he's not doing that. <laughs> he doesn't seem to give a fuck that he's had the snip either. <laughs> oh, stepdad bought some fishies today as well. For the pond, not the fish tank. Um, because a heron ate the rest that uh, he put in there. Apart from one, one survived, and some babies. So obviously, before the others were eaten, they'd had some babies in the pond. I mean, when st uh, my stepdad said he'd seen babies in the pond, we thought he was going gaga because you know there was one fish in there, so it's not possible for one fish to have babies. But then I sort of thought, well, hang on, maybe the babies were born or hatched from their eggs. 
before the parents got eight. But uh, the local aquatics centre in town, he does this um, offer where you can get seven goldfish for five pounds, so he got 28. <laughs> and a few um, ghost koi as well. So uh, we have got a net to put over the pond. But we can't do that yet because we need the vegetation to die down. So we can actually access the pond for stars. Whoops, sorry, my finger slipped. Finger slipped off the end of the camera. Right. I don't even know why I've kept the bike pump it's on the floor. I'm not kidding. I've got about six over at Mum's. Uh, if I count the foot pump as well. And I must have probably close to eight here. I've got my foot pump and I've got three, at least three hand pumps up here possibly four if the one I'm thinking of is up here as well and then I've got another three about another four down in the shed <laughs> so yeah I've got about eight pumps here so definitely not short of a bicycle pump but I actually find that over time, if they're used quite a bit, well, that one's actually a short one, so I could put that. That might go on my um, German shopper bike, actually. But I actually find that these bars, if you're not careful, can bend. Because um, I've got one, it's downstairs, that is getting a bit like that. Or the um, rubber plunger wears out or um, comes off the end of the metal rod altogether. I've had that happen, especially on cheapy ones. So, that, and oddly enough, I have been asked, have you got a bike pump I can have, please? Not borrow, have, so. Yeah, I'd give these away. I've got so many of them, I wouldn't charge anyone for them. You pick them up so easy, pick them up cheap enough, brand new actually. About two ninety nine, I think, in Roy's, something daft like that, is that's their cheapest one. Uh, Biggles did give me another bike today, um, a Universal Gents, or Men's, Man's, whatever, three-speed cycle. No back wheel, because he wants the wheel hub out of it, because three-speed wheel hubs sell well on eBay, um, and no three-speed um, three gear shift because you wanted that as well. Which doesn't bother me because I think I'm... I was going to turn it into a five-speed, you know, normal geared bike, but... I think what I'm going to do is probably use it for parts. So it's, uh, it's down by the workshop in the pile of other bike frames and things I've got down there. The ladies' ones, the frames are good. I would like to get some wheels in them, and uh, or at least one of them, and uh, get them up and running again. It wouldn't take a lot. It wouldn't take a lot to convert them to a, you know, with a five-speed gear, geared, normal geared wheel in it, or a modern geared wheel, or whatever you want to call it. Non three-speed. <laughs> He's probably done that pump the world of good doing that. <sighs> That's Black and Decker sold nine thing down here. I might let step down and have that because uh, I don't have a use for it. But he's got to be a good boy, otherwise I won't give it to him. <laughs> right. I think tomorrow I'll probably just end up going around town, you know, visiting the charity shops, visiting Black Records, visiting all sorts, both shops. Um, because I split across two now. Probably be it for tomorrow. 
I hold off getting paints for my bike. Uh, I only want to go on black records just to see what he's got, really. If anything at all. Oh, fuck no. Someone just stood on my grave. I don't know where that sound came from. Um, Black Records, he actually uses eBay as a price guide. But, um, he doesn't use what people are asking for them. Um, he looks for what the items have sold for previously and uses that as a guideline to price his items, which is fair enough. I mean, if you're going to pay a similar price to it on eBay and uh, have postage on top of that, or you can walk into a local shop and buy it, then walk into a local shop and buy it, buy it rather not buy it, because uh, you're saving on the postage. Yeah. Might find a stereo with the cover, at the very least a pair of speakers for that record player. It's going to be a challenge. Unless I just stuff the wires into the holes there, where the, you know the plug should go. But the only problem is, it's not designed like that, so it's not going to grip the wires, so they're going to fall out on a regular basis and not make a good connection, so I'd rather get the proper plugged plug speakers. Right. I'm also gonna hold off temporarily getting some more bits for the Schwinn. Mostly because you don't know what you're gonna find at Carver Cell. Might find some gear shifters that I've seen Literally, you'd probably find the kitchen sink there at these car boot sales. you find all sorts. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on much more. I think I've done it long enough. Yep. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you uh, tomorrow. And hopefully I will have some sort of goodies for us to look at. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.